So, looking at these two triangles, we know that they're congruent because all six parts of one triangle are congruent to all six corresponding parts of the second triangle. That is going to enable us to write what's called a congruent statement. So here's how you do it. This is a triangle, so we do the triangle symbol. And you're going to say triangle. And you could start any way you want. You're going to say, let's say we say triangle A, B, C. And then we're going to say congruent to. And then we're going to do the triangle symbol. And now we know A goes with D, so the first letter's got to be a D. We, we know that B goes with E because of the double arc. And we know that... C um, goes with F because of the single arc. So we know that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. Now, you could start um, a triangle congruent statement any way you want. It's more important to think about how you finish. So let's start with the other triangle first this time. And let's just pick the letters in random order. Let's go um, triangle FDE uh, is congruent to triangle. So again, you're just going to look at what F goes with, because F's the first letter. F goes with C. So this congruent statement on the right is going to start with C here. And then the middle letter is D, and D goes with A. So we're going to put down an A. And then what's left? Um, e goes with B. So there are a number of uh, ways you could write this congruent statement correctly, a number of ways you start. but um, once you start, you have to be really careful with how you finish. So a congruent statement can be really helpful for you. Let's say you're given a congruent statement. There's a lot you could tell about the two figures without even having a picture of them. For example, from this statement, we know that angle B corresponds to angle J, and because the figures are congruent, corresponding parts are congruent. So you could say from this that angle B is congruent to angle J. You could also say angle G is congruent to angle N. And finally, you could say that angle E is congruent to angle O. You can also tell which sides are congruent using the congruent statement. So since letters B, G are the first letters and J, N are the second letters, we could say that side B, G is going to be congruent to side J, N. And then you look at the second and third letters and the second and third letters, and you would know that G, E is congruent to N, O. And finally, you could say that B and E go together, um, and J and O go together. So you could say that B, E is congruent to J, O. So hopefully you can see from this explanation that there's a lot to be learned, um, a lot of information that you can glean from a congruent statement.